I'm gonna do a real quick thing here um, for a couple of reasons. Uh, number one is Gangs of London is a show created by Gareth Evans and someone else. Um, Evans is the reason a lot of people are going to be watching this show, obviously, with his uh, attachment to the Raid franchise as writer and director, um, along with like Miranda and um, VHS 2 and um, freaking Apostle. I mean, this guy is is just incredible. The Raid films, if you haven't seen the Raid films, I mean, if you're a martial arts fan, you've seen the Raid. Like, I don't need to tell you, just go see the Raid 2. It's just, you've seen it, 100%. And if you haven't, how is that possible? Um, that being said, uh, if you're in America, this film isn't released. And you have to go and seek it out in a way that I'm not usually okay with. But if you're going to put a Gareth Evans show out there, which anything this guy touches to me is instantly like have to see it the second it's released. If you're going to put something out there like that, and you're not going to make it available to me, and a lot of people are going to be talking about it, and I have the ability to watch it, and there's absolutely no air date in sight. Like they're not releasing any information on when this show will air. They're giving us nothing in that regard. What's a boy to do? Like seriously, I can't wait forever. <laughs> I just can't do it. So, yeah. If you want to ask me where I watch this, I ain't telling you. <laughs> okay? Which I'm never usually a big fan of, but I have no other way to watch it. And I can't wait any longer. And let me tell you something. This show is fucking phenomenal. It's fantastic. This is exactly what you would expect from Gareth Evans. This shit is brutal as fuck. The fight sequences in this are insane for a television show. So now this show stars Joe Cole, who I'm a big fan of. From a, par a Prayer Before Dawn in Green Room. And he's awesome, man. If you haven't seen Joe Cole, he's rad as fuck. Um, and he plays the son of this, this crime lord, drug lord guy who uh, is killed. And so he kind of takes over his empire. But he wants revenge for his father's death. And then there is uh, somebody who comes into his life who he's trying to figure out if he's friend or foe and he's also trying to solve his father's murder so he can get back at these people and there's this power struggle going on in the gangs in New York on who's going to take over and who wants to listen to this kid who's taking over his father's empire and blah 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 it's that total gangster type movie departed whatever Awesome shit, man. The writing is fantastic. The acting is great. The gore, the violence, the fights, the brutality, the shock, the everything is fantastic. Nine episodes, about an hour a piece. The first episode is actually an hour and a half, and it's directed by Gareth Evans. <laughs> some of the fight sequences in this are some of the best I've seen. Period. Like some of my favorite fight sequences I've ever watched. There's a fight sequence that happens in like this dilapidated freaking building where it's like a dude fighting another dude. Uh, I don't want to say too much about it. But there's shit that happens in that sequence that is like, it's so, like it's that, it's like that, that, um, it like, you like unnaturally, like, or okay, how am I trying to say this? It's like this, it's like when it induces something in you where you can't even help your reaction to what's happening. Like, like your body is just like saying things and, and it's like coming out of you and you don't even know you're doing it. Like something happens, you're like, oh! Like you're just getting these natural reactions that are just shocked by what you're seeing on the screen. But for me, in a great way. 
Like I'm sitting there and I'm like, oh, fuck. Like, what? And it's like involuntary. That is the word I was looking for. Involuntary. Involuntary responses to things where I'm just sitting there and my body is just naturally reacting to what I'm seeing. And I'm like completely, you know, detached from, from having any say in how my body's responding to it. I'm just like, what the fuck? <laughs> it's so awesome. Now, a lot of people, they don't like that. That's not something that they that that entertains them. They're just like, "What is this? this? Is way too over the top. This is way too violent." In fact, I was just watching "The Night Comes for Us," which is a fantastic film from some of the guys that made the Raid One and Two, um, with my brother, one of my brothers, not my brother Nathan, who I talk about all the time. I have a young, I have a couple of younger brothers as well, um, and one of them I was watching with him, and he was sitting there and he was just grossed out by what we were watching. He's like, this is just too fucking far. Like, this isn't entertaining. This, These guys take this shit too far. And I was just sitting there kind of baffled by that. Like, because to me, that's not possible. You know? Like, you're sitting there. I was sitting there. I kept looking. I'm like, what do you mean? Like, I genuinely was like, I don't understand what you're talking about. What do you mean too far? Because like, in my mind, it's just, it really isn't possible. <laughs> so I was sitting there. And when he's saying it, I'm looking over at him like he's speaking a foreign language to me. I don't understand. Like, too violent? Too graphic? Huh? Does not compute. Like, I'm so detached from that reality that there are people like that. And I get that there are. And I know there are people like that. And I wouldn't recommend that to anybody. But I guess, like, with him, I wouldn't expect that from him. So when he said it, it was j- jarring to me in the moment. I was like, what are you, what? Too violent? Like, you watch violent movies. Like, you're into this stuff. What are you talking about? And he's like, oh, it's like the raid, and it's like this, and it, they just take it too far. It's too much. It's too violent. It's too ridiculous. And I'm like, what do you mean? No, it isn't. It's awesome. And this show's just like that. If he was to watch this, he would have the exact same feeling. It's awesome. If you like The Night Comes for Us, if you like the Raid films, if you like gangster movies and you want to see a combination of all that shit, this is your show. Watch it by any means necessary, okay? Eventually it'll come to Cinemax, I think is the one that picked up the rights to this. or Yeah, Cinemax, I think. Get the fuck on it, Cinemax. Because everybody needs to see this show as quick as possible. This is going to be the next big thing. And it's got some shocking stuff in it. Not just in the graphic violence, but in the storytelling. Oh, such great characters. Such great storytelling. Such a fantastic show. What an amazing first season. There's been some amazing first seasons of shows in the world. This This is up there, man. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what the best first season of all time is. But this is a contender for me. It's phenomenal. Please, 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 by any means necessary. I never promote that kind of shit, but this is a must watch. Get to it.